Hospitalizations from COVID-19 are now projected to increase for the first time in weeks. Eyewitness News reporter Denise Dedore is here with that story and the latest pandemic news, including a new request for the emergency authorization for a vaccine for young children. Well, Please. Ellen, why experts say Americans shouldn't be dying from COVID and what we need to be doing and new eye opening numbers about how many kids have been infected. Plus, Dr. Anthony Fauci gave Americans hopeful news about the end of this pandemic, but now he's amending what he said. We are certainly right now in this country out of the pandemic phase. On the PBS NewsHour, the chief medical advisor to the president pointed to lower rates of cases, hospitalizations and deaths. But today he explained his comments, saying the coronavirus is under better control in the U.S., but the pandemic isn't over. He adds, rather, we are in a different moment of the pandemic. CDC modeling predicting after weeks of declines, hospital admission levels in the U.S. are now projected to increase for the first time since January. In the last week, California and 29 other states have reported increases of 10 percent or more in their number of virus-related hospitalizations. The same model also predicts death totals will no longer decline, but rather remain stable or have an uncertain trend. Meantime, a new CDC antibody study suggests three out of every four U.S. children under 17 have been infected with the coronavirus. This amid growing calls from frustrated parents of young children waiting for a vaccine. I want you, Joe Biden, to call the FDA and tell them that they need to act with all possible speed. Tomorrow, Moderna says it will submit a request for emergency use authorization for its two-dose COVID-19 vaccine for kids six months to under six years old. And Pfizer is also seeking authorization for its booster dose for five to 11-year-olds. And with the growing availability of coronavirus vaccines and antiviral treatments, many health experts assert few Americans should still be dying of COVID-19. A top infectious disease specialist says the vast majority of those dying are unvaccinated and Americans need more access to antiviral meds like Pfizer's Paxlovid. The White House plans to double the number of pharmacies that stock the drug to 40,000 sites nationwide in the coming weeks. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and down Download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.